everybody coming at you guys with all my might it is my and I'm I'm on my quad if you haven't noticed uh, the big rapping sound uh, uh, and uh, I believe you can actually see too that I'm on it by the way for those who didn't know ooh, I haven't rode in a while oh I haven't rode my quad in a while I'm probably gonna get covered in mud because that's what this thing does. But um, let's start this out with a little bit of thank you because um, I got a shout out by a motor vlogger, and he is awesome. <laughs> I was like so amazed by that and thank you again um there's a log in the path uh let's see oh i'm too distracted distracted driving that's me <laughs> anyhow thank you it, it was the best thing ever um here's the story behind this i was in ohio with my girlfriend. Um, we were at their house. Whoa, mud. We were at their house chilling for the weekend. All right, I better stop that. <laughs> We were chilling for the weekend, and um, I, I, wa I was swimming in the pool and whatnot, and my dad calls me. He's like, hey, so I, I go inside, and my dad's sitting there, and he's like, some guy, some vlogger, dude, just sent you a message. He said he saw your videos and thought you deserved more attention, and I'm like, what? really and so he saw talking about that and I'm like well we didn't have anything that the, like the iPhone app didn't really work to uh, reply but we figured out a way to do it and I replied but I was over in Ohio that weekend so I wasn't home and so I didn't have my computer but man and then I didn't get to watch this video right away but I have to go to bed at about nine o'clock on uh, weekdays so I couldn't um, watch the video until uh, later and then our internet went down and stuff like that but it was just around 9 30 when I got to watch it uh, fully watch the video and if you could see my face when I watched your video man I was just ecstatic I was so happy and it, it does mean a lot. That wheelie is for you. That wheelie, that little wheelie there. It's for you, my friend. Thank you. Much appreciated. And I was, I was sitting there watching that video, and I was sitting there with a big, huge smile on my face. Oh, it was great. But, uh. And I'm sorry about your bike, man. That sucks. Getting a, getting a hole in your tire. Those, those, those uh, sport bike tires aren't cheap. Heck, the tires aren't cheap. But, um, yeah, I figured I, I actually got gas. Well, that sounds wrong. But, um, like, usually I was just buying mix and not putting gas in this thing but i got some gas <laughs> still sounds wrong for this thing and now i'm riding this i wanted to take it out for a little bit i haven't done it in a while so man it just rips i haven't rode on a four stroke yet since who knows when oh i guess my sister got a bike so she got a little uh TTR 125 08. That's a little neat bike. But, um, 
Yeah, just a four stroke, man. That's awesome. I love it. But uh, on, on, in any other events, I am currently shopping for and saving for a uh, dual sport. I want to get a, uh, I'm looking at getting a Suzuki DR, uh, but I'm not quite sure. Oh, flooded it. Come on. There we go. Oh. I'm looking at again a DR 400, Suzuki DR 400, um, dual sport, but um, I'm not quite sure because I'm a little torn between that and the 650, but the 650 is, it's gonna be a lot more bike. Not that I can't handle the bike, it's just, I wanna do the same thing off, I wanna be like riding a dirt bike on the road. And for me, the feel of the 400 gives me more dirt bike feel where the 650 kinda has the more, a little bit more cruiser type ordeal. But, um, I don't know, we'll see. I wanna, if anybody knows, how does this, the 400, how do they do on the highway? I'm not, it's gonna, I'm not gonna supermoto it. I, I want it as a dual sport, but how do they fare on the highway? If it's highway speed, 65 miles per hour. Like, I don't wanna kill the motor. That's the thing. But yeah, I wanna still have all off-road capabilities that the 400 has, where the 650, it's a little bit bigger bike, so. I'm not sure about that. Like, I'm not how the big, bigger bike is. I mean, it's a lot more weight. That's about it. I love doing that. This thing just goes. You top it out um, so easily. Oh, and for those who don't know, this is a Suzuki LTZ 400. Quad, quad Sport, yeah, that's what it is. Um, it's, a, it's a race quad. And my bike that I ride is a 1999 Yamaha YZ125, Yamaha. Um, this is a 2004. I bought it last year for 1700 bucks. Um, now here's the thing. When I got it, it wasn't quite running. I mean, it, it was, it, it would, uh, you could get it and it would stall and then you wouldn't be able to start back up. It was flooding. But here, it, the needle and the carb was just floating around there. So it was giving it the full main jet gas the whole entire time. So that was an issue. After that, the bike, the four-wheeler ran fine. But the thing is, is you gotta watch when you buy. Uh, oh, look, there's deer. Huh. Uh, you gotta watch when you buy uh, used quads and stuff like that, because there are these things rattle like heck, and like uh, I'm not being sarcastic or anything. This thing shakes. There's so much power at that, that small motor that they just shake. Wave? Fine, don't wave. So there's a lot of power in this motor, so it, it shakes and things get loose. So you want to check the bolts and stuff. I already had the, the Nerf bars shoot off the bike the quad um yeah that's not fun uh let me think of the other thing but yeah you want to check bearings and this is a must you want to check bearings like um i paid 17 for this like i said and i probably the booked for 22 i probably put 
Oh, uh, let's see. I probably put enough money in it to bring it back up to the blue book value because it needed it needed a arm bearings it needed uh, sh uh swing arm bearings and the swing arm and shock bearings and then all front whole entire front a arm bearings on both sides so it was a pretty penny it was like a i think a, uh, 150 bucks about oh there's another deer um and then it needed back tires which there, that's a that's 150 bucks there too, and um, it did eventually need brakes, and that's another that's like 16 bucks. Brakes aren't that bad, but just the thing is, is you watch watch what you're doing. You know what you're getting before you uh, do it because you have to know what you're getting into. Ah, oh, crap! I got mud all over me. But that's the thing. That's what's been up. I wanted to talk, talk, tell you guys, talk, talk, tell you guys about that. But anyhow, yeah. So thank you once again for the shout out. Woo! Hill climb. Thank you again for the shout out. It means a lot. I love, I loved it. Um. I hope that you get your tire fixed and everything really quick um, and everything works out with that but yeah keep on riding everybody out there we moto vloggers we got we stick together man that means a lot oh look there's there's a mom and baby a lot of deer out but yeah, I wanted to take the 400 out and go where I haven't gone in a while. Just cruise. Cruise is a relative term for slide around corners, get covered in mud. Oh yeah, just living the good life. Oh look, there's another deer. I'm not sure if you saw it or not because the camera's so far away. Sliding around corners. Adam Cowboy. But anyhow, thank you for watching this video. It's been a blast. Look, oh, look, another. Whoa, there's a buck. Oh, wow, yeah, woo. Buck and a doe. There are so many deer. I love this four wheeler. Thank you for watching and subscribe. And have a nice day. God bless. Fade into the distance in the fading manner. While you let off the gas in the forward there slowly comes to the comes to a stop. Alright, I'm gonna stop talking. Catch you guys later. Bye.